it's that time of year where we make New Year's resolutions. We decide we're going to turn a new leaf as the calendar turns over. And those resolutions are notoriously known to fail before the end of January. So what I like to do is propose you approach those differently using geometry. Yes, geometry. I'm Karen Valensic. I am the founder and author of Spiral Impact, the power to get it done with grace. And I've worked with leaders and teams in their performance improvement for three decades. What I'd like to share with you is looking at these goals or any kind of performance with geometry. So think about this. We have a straight line and that is when we are going to start doing something or actually even stop doing something. So perhaps that's not eating sugar or perhaps that's exercising every day. But we have this linear type of thing and what happens is there's no momentum, there's no support in that. It's really about willpower and it fails pretty quickly. Now another geometry that we might use would be a square or a triangle, which could be a cube or a cone. And those two could be like, instead of I'm going to start, it's I am going to be. I am going to be consistent. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be a great leader. And that is great, but it's also very static and there's not a lot of support and momentum with it. Those things tend to waver as well. Then we have a circle. We have a ball or a sphere and it does have momentum and it can go and really move us forward and that is good. But, but the thing is, is that ball can collide with a fixed object and send it on a whole new trajectory. So that is if you're going to start doing something and then something else happens, it takes you off and you are no longer moving forward to where you want to go. Then we have a spiral. A spiral is the universal geometry of momentum, power, and grace. And the beautiful thing about a spiral is that it can come across something and instead of stopping, instead of boinging away and losing momentum, it actually adapts and moves with. Now, how do you do that in practical terms? And that has been my work for three decades is how to teach people to do that. And it is a combination of what I call four major quadrants. And you move with all of those on a regular basis that creates momentum. Those quadrants are to continue to increase your knowledge base. It is to develop your focused energy. It is to have and use support. And it's also to be very clear on many levels of intention. You bring those four quadrants together and it creates momentum that allows you to adapt and adjust as circumstances change. You can learn more about that with my book or look at karensmasterclass.com and join me on an upcoming complimentary masterclass to learn more details. And I wish you a prosperous, healthy, and happy new year. Thanks so much for tuning in. And if you'd like more, just subscribe to wherever you're seeing this. And until next time, thank you so very much.